welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Frank Miranda, the great fall artist here. Hope everybody's kept busy. I hope you have your pencils sharp and your erasers ready and your measuring tools ready so that we can start doing this uh, new drawing. We're gonna do Donald Duck, but today we're only gonna do the face. We're gonna practice a little bit there. I've noticed that some people have told me that the faces are not coming out so detailed. And after doing the entire body, it's a little frustrating that the gesture of the face is not captured. So we're gonna focus on this first. We're gonna practice it a couple of times, and then we're gonna to try to tackle the entire Donald Duck drawing. Uh, hope you enjoy. So get ready. We're gonna we're about to get started and uh, stop at any time, restep, go through it, uh, and make sure that you 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 try to follow every step. And it should come out. It may not come out the first time, but sometimes I have to record this a couple of times. So you're not alone. Part of being an artist is is doing it over until it gets right, until you're happy with it. And then you can continue on to the next piece. And sometimes it's frustrating, leave that tutorial and go to another tutorial and try that out. And as you get a little bit better, maybe you figure something out, you can come back and revisit this. You can do this multiple times. You don't have to just do it once. You always get better when you draw. Drawing teaches drawing. So I'll see you at the drawing table. Let's take a look at Donald Duck here. Let's see how if we can figure out a shape that Donald Duck will fit in that we can put here and then draw him around that. So let's see. Donald Duck has a very strong shape right here. It's a circle right here in the middle of his head. And most heads are like that. Most uh, most animals ha have that and humans have that, that circle there. So let's see. It, it, that circle looks like it's the, the size of, from this side to this side, the sides of his head. So let's figure something out here. If we did that circle, I bet you that that's about twice his height. Let's see, of his head. So from the bottom of his chin to his eye. And guess what? That circle shape, that width is also twice, it, it measures the, the, the envelope, the extremes of his head. So if we can get this circle and then we can break it in half and we can do that same width of that, that, that diameter of that circle from that center line down and up, we've got the height already figured out for Donald, no matter where we're doing it. And let's figure out one more thing. If we got Donald and we did that, if we got half of Donald's head size, it looks like that's his head is two circles high and it's a circle and a half wide. So with that said, we can make the outside shapes where he's going to fit in, and it will make our job a lot easier. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's, I'm going to take my trusty red pencil here, and I'm going to go right down the center. I'm going to go right down what I think is the center right here. It's almost the center of his eye right there. It's right on the inside of his eye. So that's a center line right there. And then I'm going to do my circle in here. That's that circle we always start with. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a center line on that circle. And let's just confirm what we had measured before. And there you have it. It's about twice the size of that circle is his height. And then it's, if we get a half here, and we go from there to there. And it's a half here, so we're, we're, we're set. We've got everything that we need. Let's go ahead and start this thing right here. So let's 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 go ahead and uh, make that circle. And if you need a measurement, we'll go ahead and, and, and get the, you know, more or less. You can actually just do a circle. I'm going to try to do it the same size. But you can actually just do a circle. There we go. We can all see that. We're going to break that circle in half. We're going to break it in half here like this. We're going to dissect it. And then we're going to measure that height. We're actually going to measure it down. And we're going to measure that height. And we're going to measure it up. Nope, from the center. I almost made a mistake there. From the center. And measure that from the center. There we go. So this is the top, the bottom of Donald. This is the top of Donald right here. And he's going to fit in there. It's that hat is not going to go past it. And his chin is not going to go past this of his bill. Now we're going to get this half here. 
and we are going to see how I'm measuring with my thumb to the half point to the end. Now I just put it on the edge and I mark with my pencil tip. And that's the extreme. This is the extreme of Donald. I mean, right here, right here, this, these little hairs or these little feathers here are gonna come out. And this goes a little bit, but we're not gonna count that. Those are just little details. And if it stays inside, it doesn't really matter. The essence of Donald is there. So let's see. All right, so um, it looks like this line right here of his bill goes slightly above, uh, but I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Let's uh, let's let's see what we can do here. Let's do just this. Let's elongate. Now notice this is the center. The center of his chin is slightly off. It's 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 about a pencil and a half from the center. So if I come a pencil and a half from the center and I come down, it's not quite at the center, it's a little bit over it says right here. This is the center of Donald's chin, okay? So I see this shape here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make a circle here. Go ahead and make a circle there. See, it's a circle that fits, it's touching this edge and this edge, so I'm gonna make a circle there. And guess what? Now we just come off the edge of this circle, we do this like a belt, almost like a belt, going around the circle or rope. And then we're gonna bring this over here. And that's Donald's chin right there. Now we gotta get this complicated bill shape, but it's really not that complicated. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna do a loop here. We're gonna do like a long, like a grain of rice. It's like an oval. We can do a perfect oval there. That's not a big deal. And the oval is going to touch at the top of this line, and it's going to touch on this edge here. So the oval is going to touch here, and it's going to touch here. And it's going to touch the tip of that oval. It's going to touch here, uh, coming down. So let's sort of get that angle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out. I'm trying to figure out where from here to here, from this corner, so here on this line, it's it's where it's gonna connect that oval. So I'm gonna get this angle and I'm gonna point it. See how I point it? So I'm gonna go ahead and try to keep that angle. And I'm gonna come to that point right there. And then I'm just gonna pull back. And that's, you know, we can, we can measure like this to confirm the height to that point. And that's about right. So we're gonna do our oval right there. I'm gonna do an oval right there. That's our oval. And I think we're about good. Um, let's do the hat. I mean, the hat is, uh, it's got shapes to it. It's a, it's a volume, we can't just freehand that. So let's see, the top of this hat is on the center here. So uh, it's gonna touch about here. See, if, if we do a line here, the hat is gonna touch about here. And it is a big oval right here. It's a big oval. So I'm gonna put it there and I'm gonna just go, it goes in, it goes slightly into the center, it touches about here. So we're gonna do a big oval like that. Yep, that's right, big oval right there. And then over here, we've got about two pencils, two pencils above the center line there, one, two. And that's where the bottom of this uh, part of the hat touches. It doesn't quite make it to the end. It's about a pencil in. See how it doesn't quite touch the edge there? It's a pencil in and it's above this and it touches right here and it touches right here. So it, it is a, it's like an oval there too. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Now watch, it has to touch here and it has to touch here. And we do the oval like that. It's like a jelly bean there. And I think now we're ready. I think now we're ready. Maybe let's let's tackle the eyes. That eye is very important. Notice this eye is closer to you than this one. It wants to give you the feel like this is round, like it's going around. So this is away from you, so it's smaller. So let's see, that eye is actually almost at the bottom of that circle. It's a little bit above the bottom of that circle. And it is a big, uh, it is a big uh, oval and it goes to about the center from, from the top to the bottom here. It's at that height. But it's not quite on the center of it. You see, it's not quite on the center of the eye. It's a little bit off. So we know it's gotta touch up here. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's see, this is the center. It goes a little bit over. So I'm sort of putting it there, there. And it reaches that top. It doesn't, it's, it's somewhere between the center and, and, and the center line and the top of this first circle. So let's, let's see if we can do that. And, it, and it's pointy, okay? It is, it sort of comes up a little bit straight here and, and it's pointy, so that's important. It's pointy. And again, remember, you can always adjust it. You can always adjust it in your finished drawing. You can always adjust it when you go to secure it there to put it in. And now this edge over here goes right on the line and it sort of is, um, it's broken in half by this line. And uh, it sort of starts at the bottom. If you look here, it starts right at the bottom there. This is the circle. So it sort of starts at the bottom where these two meet. And, and now I'm noticing, now that I'm really doing attention to detail, I realize this line comes in more than mine. So I can, I can adjust that just a little bit. It comes in. And it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just you go noticing things. The more you look, you go noticing. So this is the eye, the bottom of the eye right here. And we're going to come up. So it's a sort of a straight line here, sort of. And then the eye bounces out and comes in. So it's like that. It's like a little bump here, but it's flat there. I guess that's that's about, let's see the thickness of this. It's about two and a half pencils more or less more or less that's about right let's do i mean we're here let's go ahead and do his eyes this is just a half circle here this is his his other eye doesn't quite make it it is like an oval i'm actually touching the edge here and his doesn't touch that's important Trying to make that shape as best as I can. It his doesn't touch. That's very important. The white of the eye is very important. His is actually like blue, but this part of the eye, it's very important that you always get that right, especially when you do uh, more serious portraits and you want it to look like somebody. Very important that you get that right. I mean, that is very important. My teacher, Abdon Romero, always told me that is the most important thing for the expression of the eyes. Let's see, he's got like a brow here. He's got like a brow there. He's got a brow up here. Like for his expression, his surprise expression there, his happy expression, more or less there. This is his head right here. Um, let's go ahead and do some little feathers. I'm just doing little lines and little, little bumps here. More or less, just as an indication, there's a big one here. This is the end of his... So let's see, it's a little circle right here, a little oval right there. Let, let's do that, that's important, okay? Let's do that there. And then let's see, this, if I did a line here, there's a dip, we have to do that. There's a dip that comes in and then it comes back around. That's the bottom of his jaw, his bill. And then here, where these two are, we have to do a, a, a oval connecting that. So we have to do that. Okay, we have to do that, but still it pops out because that's not the real shape. And then right here, there's a little dip. It goes in and out. It's, the, it's supposed to be, this is this, this shape here on this side when you're looking at it from the top. If you were looking at it from the top, that's that shape. So let's do that right down next to his eye. And we come in and then we pop it out like that. All right. Uh, there's like a little bump that goes in between his, it, this, this piece comes here down. It's a little bump, a little bump. And it comes under his other eye, just a little bump. Comes under his other eye and it connects it here. Now we can go ahead and do the back of this shape here. And then there's a sweeping line that we have to do. And um, the sweeping line is like a big smile. 
and we have to go from here to here. Let's draw this line back here, the sweeping line. It starts here and it, it ends here. So we have to, and we have to go about two and a half, two and a half uh, pencil widths up. So this is kind of, you know, you have to recognize that this is not a straight line. You could do it and it would look okay, but this is a sweeping, it comes down a little bit. This is the big curve. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna tackle this first and then we'll do that. So let's do that. So we're coming from this point to this point and it's a big curve. So let's just do a soft and see if we get it right. Let's see if we get it right. And this was soft and we'll come over here. I'll do it really soft and that works, that works. That works, and then the, just the last bit of it is to come straight up here, I guess. That's the last bit of it, okay? And then on the top here, this piece that ends here comes in a little bit. So what we're actually seeing is this. We're actually seeing the top of his bill. And then when you add the shapes, see, when you add the shapes, this is the edge this is the front of his bill. This is the edge coming back around. So they're playing with some lines to explain the form. You gotta get that right. So this one comes down a little bit more here. Not too much. He's got he's got two little things here like his nostrils. This one goes between his eyes here like that. And then his his, his jawline here is at the bottom of his bill. It's thicker here, it gets thinner, and it stays sort of thin. So we're gonna come down from here, thicker. We're gonna stay thin. And we're just gonna stay thin like that, like that. What I've noticed is this is actually, um, this sort of points to the bottom of his eye and we're way ahead of that. So I'm, you know, we're way in front of that. So it sort of has to be here. So I'm gonna make it thinner. I'm gonna go ahead and make this thinner here like this. Like that. That's important, like that. I think that that works. He's got his little tongue here. That's easy. We can all everybody can do that. And then let's let's finish this hat. So there's a line here coming from his brow right here. See that? That's actually a, just a coincidence that it lines up, but it works out for us. It's a reference. And then this this is a turn. From the other eyebrow, you come up as a circle. And you come up as a circle like that. And um, yeah, that's, that's about right. Now this, I know I did this line here. And uh, you know what, this, this looks small, but I think when we connect it, we may have to go a little bit past just because our, our, our measurements aren't exactly like him. And it doesn't have to be. I mean, it looks like Donald. So let's 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 come up here. Let's connect these. Notice there's a there's our circle. Here's our other circle, and there's this shape connecting them. Let's let's go ahead and do that right here in the middle here, like right that. And then we can come up a little bit, just a slight bit on the top here for Donald. Try to make that feel real, real big there. That piece. Come down here. This one. I think that works. This is round here, this is not square. And then of course, we bring out the, that little ribbon or band or whatever it is. Just two little lines coming out, not too far. And just one coming in, one coming in. And uh, there you have it, that's, uh, that's Donald Duck. I'm gonna go ahead and ink this now. And, and now, you know, I'm noticing a couple things, for example, his eyes are bigger. This space here is much bigger in mine than in his. I can, I can actually, I can actually bring that down a little bit. See, I don't have to, I'm not married with that. I don't have to, I can bring it down a little bit. Yeah. But overall, I'm, I'm very happy with it. It's Donald, it's got his gesture. You know, Donald's a crazy guy. Donald is uh Donald's a guy that uh he gets jealous a little bit uh, 
of Mickey because Mickey, you know, Mickey's Mickey. But he's a good friend to Mickey and, and he's learned to live with it and and he's gotten a lot more relaxed over the years than he used to be at the very beginning. He would really get mad. But, uh, you know, if you saw the Christmas, if you saw the Christmas show, you saw that he got upset, but he learned his lesson and he, he did better. And we can all be like Donald. We can all learn our lesson. Sometimes when we don't behave so well, everybody's got a moment that that happens and we can uh, learn our lesson. We can learn from Donald Duck how to be better people. Uh, because after all, nobody's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and ink this, and I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be doing the entire body of uh, for 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 Donald very soon. Have a great day. I hope you enjoy yourself. Be safe. Eat healthy. Take care of your family. Be a leader in your house by doing your things, not by being bossy, but by doing the things that you gotta do. And show everybody that you're doing your part. Have a great day.